So yeah, now that we're done with the review of the positive and negative of Cuphead Show, let's do the next one, which is ranking all of this episode. I have my favorite and I have my least favorite. As you can see here, I got my personal favorite, could be better. We got meh, hated it, and worst episode. Of course, the first worst episode is Baby Bottle. God, I hate this episode so much. Not only the baby is annoying, but the fact that he keeps destroying everything, you know, despite getting worn by Cuphead Markman, he doesn't want to stop. He went so far to the point that he destroyed Elder's Cattle Radio, and the fact that he just went everywhere and caused chaos is just relentless and just really really annoying. I really hate this baby. We don't know where he comes from and the fact that he just here and just caused trouble everywhere, you know, without listening to everything. I hate this baby. Me, and I can agree with everyone that this is the worst episode. So next up for the hazy category is root pack. It's like, you know, as much as I enjoy those three root pack making an appearance, but the way they talk, you know, the way they shape, the way they just act around it feels like some kind of last episode of VeggieTale. I know it sounds harsh, but it is what it is. I, I don't really find any enjoying watching this episode. You know, when they actually just absorb something from the ground and then make the plant die, you know, the one that Elder Cattles love. I, I can tell you that was like some kind of gross humor that... I'm pretty sure kids will enjoy Top Hand Markman trying their best to chase them out, but they didn't listen. They bring all their friends here, and you know, they're one useless cop that doesn't want to do anything. That was just really mean spirited, and I feel like this episode feel really gross, like I said earlier. There's no development at all, and later on, when they, they end up absorbing even more stuff on the ground and become bigger. You can tell that some kind of gross humor that kids will enjoy and I don't like it. So yeah, this episode felt too really weird and I don't really feel good watching it again. In fact, I don't even want to watch it again. So moving on to my first personal favorite, Roll the Dice. We get to see King Dice in his first and only appearance throughout the season. He's cool and I think his personality fits perfectly as he was in the game counterpart. Later on, Cuphead Markman joined the show and produced some of the funniest line ever. Like, that's for you Jimmy and you know what for? Sprinkle sprinkle Mr. Carl? Uh, uh. King Dai is so cool. Let's not forget the confrontation between him and Devil and the whole rotation, the 3D rotation. You know, that was really clean and I really enjoyed that moment. So, yeah, really funny episode, lots of funny moments. That's why it's up there. Dangerous Markman is my personal favorite number two. In this episode, we get to see Markman bravery side. Episode starts with Cuphead and Markman going to Pork Crying Empire. They were so annoying that Pork Crying was dreaming about actually knocking out them. That was pretty insane. And to chase them away, he gave them a task to, to go to Mount Eruptus. And that's where we get to see Cuphead and Markman working together and Markman taking a lead. You know, he got this goggle, Duke Dangerous, something like that. So yeah, he wear the goggles and able to traverse through all the obstacles. And of course, lost it halfway through. But still, Cuphead didn't tell him to ruin the mood. And he ended up climbing up to the top of the mountain. Even though Cuphead tell him the truth. But it still doesn't stop him from continuing finishing his quest. And in the end, bring the egg back to the pork crime. This episode shows that Markman can be brave. And that's why it's in my second spot. Ghost Ain't Real is gonna be in meh episode. Oh wait, no man. So yeah, Cuphead and Markman were just heading home but decide to take a shortcut through the cemetery and say that the ghost ain't real. That's where the problem comes in. The ghost comes and spook them. And as much as I wanted to like this episode, but I feel like this episode once again felt a little... Sorry. Once again, I felt this episode felt mean-spirited. Like, yeah sure, Cuphead and Markman say ghost ain't real. And those ghosts come out and just tell them ghosts actually exist and scare them. But I wish they actually went this way. Like, oh, Cuphead and Markman say ghosts in real. And these ghosts heard their conversation and decided to teach them a lesson. And in the end, become friendly enough to tell that ghosts actually exist. 
yeah, would wouldn't it better if it end that way instead of just like continuously torturing them and to the point that we almost got killed by falling from the clock tower and that's when the ghost actually got scared and felt guilty for what they've done. You know that episode could have been better, you know, going the other way, you know, like I said, you know, the ghost being friendly and warn them to not say ghost in view again because you now know what ghost they're gonna met next time that won't be as friendly as me and as us. You know that could have been worked that way, you know, Cuphead and Markman learn their lesson, head home, only to be scared by Elder Cattle. Could have been that way, so that's why meh for me for this episode. A charm's way can only be could be bad. Why? Well, because this episode introduced us to Miss Chalice. Nothing wrong here, but the fact that she was introduced here and then the cliffhanger just shows up like that and we have to wait for season 2, that was just pretty weird, don't you think? Like, we got to introduce a new character and then, you know, we hear her singing, you know, bonding with Cuphead and Mugman, and then she brought them to the cookie factory, then Miss Chalice become this ghost and then Cuphead Mugman got arrested and that's it. Like I wish there was like a two part of like a two episode, you know, explaining, introducing Miss Chalice so that we can know her even more. But uh, overall, great singing by Miss Chalice, unfortunately tainted by the, the conclusion. Ribby and Crook is my third personal favorite. We get to see Ribby and Crook, one of my favorite villains from the game. We get to see both of them bonding, you know, they're having a good banter, having a good conversation, good relationship, and always mention their mother, and having a good song accompanied with them, which makes this episode good. Coupled on by the fact that Cuphead and Mugman got kicked away, you know, because they wanted ice cream, and they sneak their way into the cruiser while causing more trouble while getting chased by Ribby and Crook, adds the flavor to the top of the ice cream to make it better. And of course, the butcher with the wife saying, and it was yelly. So yeah, good chemistry between Ribby and Crook, Cuphead and Markman never ending quest to find the ice cream, makes this in my top 3. Moving on back to Hayley is Halloween Care. Like Cuphead and Markman were having a pillow fight and then Markman broke his handle and Markman and Cuphead try their best to actually find a way to patch up that handle. I like how Cuphead stole some honey and then the bear just comes in and beat them up. That was pretty hilarious and come out of nowhere. I like that moment. So yeah, when I watched the episode for the first time, I was like, maybe this episode is telling us like, it's okay if you don't have handle, it's still true to yourself, you still look good as you are. But then... Elder Cattle have to come in and tell them this lie about him having a similar situation where you know Elder Cattle broke his handle and then in the same night some angel or whatever got the praising in Ingwer Ao and actually gave him a new handle. It's like I don't think kids are gonna fall for that lie because that was some of the dumbest thing they probably heard. That was just not a good episode you know kids like oh I lost my tooth it's gonna grow back despite slamming into the wall five hours ago yeah not a good episode and I don't really like it back to could be better dirt nap it's in that list this episode could strike home for many people because most of us have some elderly people at home and um, if you're one of those elder people you're probably wondering if your children, you know, your family are gonna get rid of you after some point at the edge of your life, which was pretty messed up and yeah, that's what most elder gonna go through when they old they think they're useless and their family doesn't want them anymore. So yeah, Elder Catter heard the conversation between Cuphead and Markman and she, he think they want to get rid of him and he become this depressed self that ends up setting up trap to actually kill them. That was hilarious. And he ends up tripping on all of the trap and then get tossed all the place. That was pretty funny, but part of me think that it could be better. Like, you know, the progression between um, knowing the truth, knowing the misunderstanding, and then becoming this psychotic self. You know, I wish that they make this episode longer than 13 minutes because 
I feel like uh, make it so that you know knowing the misunderstanding you know start becoming this crazy self slowly you know and at the end have this grand review I feel like that could really work better and for the final personal favorite is Khan Evil one good thing about this show that I like is that they just introduce the characters without saying any description at all like you know in the opening of the episode, we see Elder Kato, Cuphead, and Markman without any dialogue whatsoever. And I think that's the perfect way to actually introduce those characters. Because we most of us already knew about the characters from the game. And I don't think we need any explanation. So yeah, plus one for that, you know, just get straight to the point. Especially the painting the fans one, you know, the scene happened twice, but you know, it didn't happen more than twice to make it so old. The joke felt fresh and I like it. And of course, you know, Cuphead and Markman went to this carnival having fun doing stuff together and eventually stumbled across this arcade machine that was secretly run by the devil. And we got to hear his song, which of course it's in my top 3. Wish it was longer. But unfortunately, was interrupted by the henchman. Bosh! Oh, shut up! The devil is a pretty cool character. So yeah, the interaction between the devil and Cuphead Markman are pretty good to Good introduction, quick review to those characters, no wasting time talking about pointless stuff that leads to nowhere. A good song by the devil, good characteristics by for those characters, and that's why it's in the top 4 of my personal favorite. So yeah, to the go, and unfortunately, sweat of luck next time, can only deserve to be in meh. It's a continuation of sweat of death, but part of me wish like this episode has some kind of meaning. Like, for the f first two, three minutes, we see the devil trying his best to actually steal cup his soul, but fail, and they end up playing a bunch of shenanigans, a compilation of, of just failure attempt by the devil. I feel like that leads to nowhere and I glad that the devil is doing his job but just him just showing him just failing over and over again just leads to nowhere. And that's like the first half is pretty weak. Cup and Markman then sneak away to the carnival while the devil paint the fan. And then when he caught with the Cuphead Markman, Cuphead and Devil actually have some bonding together. You know, Cuphead told some jokes at first, the devil doesn't like it, but later on, guess what? They actually got along pretty well. And part of me wish that was like the highlight of the entire episode. Like, you know, Cuphead and Devil just tell jokes and they end up becoming better. And then at the end, the devil snap back to reality and get his job done. And he still failed. I wish that could be that way. You know, no offense to the painting scene, but the first half was like just pointless or oh, the second half could have been longer you know with all this joke you know banter I feel like that could lead to somewhere but unfortunately that's not the case so that's why sweat a lot next time is in May and for the last one could be better is sweater of dead instead of just cutting few seconds of cuphead and markman doing all they could to actually avoid the trap of the devil each of the Trap actually lead to something bigger. You know, at when first up, you know, they were doing his tactic, Buckman was able to resist and tell Cuphead to move on. And then as they progress deeper, the challenge become bigger and bigger. And to the point that they were actually just it's like, take it off and I'll give 10 bucks. Just building up to something bigger and the devil becomes this great thing. That was like the highlight of the episode. So instead of like, just like failure attempt that leads to nowhere for Sweater luck next time. Sword of Dead leads to something major and you can see the progression to it. Like each challenges become harder and you know the point that the cup had mark may become so hot thanks to the devil's attempt. So why is only in could be better? Well um well because it suffered the same problem as Sweat of Luck next time. As much as I like the problem become bigger and bigger, you know the challenges become it's harder and harder to resist for Cuphead. I feel like that dragged on a little too long. If you wasn't gonna take it off and I give 10 bucks, you know, without a joke, you know, it could be much stale, you know. So that's kind of hindered me from could be better. So yeah, those are my favorite to the worst. 
based on my opinion on the Cuphead show. 12 episode rank by me. So yeah, can't wait for the next season which is happening in summer whenever that is. So yeah, can't wait for that. Let me know below what your opinion is. I'm pretty sure your opinion are different than mine. If you like what you see, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to join my Reddit and Discord server down in the description. Thank you for watching, and hopefully my video don't get corrupted again.